Okay, here we're going to investigate ventilation benefits for plants. And it's very important to keep air circulation and air movement for your plants. And here we're going to investigate why that is. So starting with keeping air moving, it's important to have continual air movement around the plants. In nature, very still conditions are rare. There's always a breeze of some kind. You don't have to be on a sailboat to realize that. You can see the prevalence of wind turbines, or if you look at any flag, uh, typically flapping, and even the slightest of breeze. So we want to create or maintain these natural conditions because this is a, of much benefit to our plants. So mixing our air. High air rises, and not mixing air can lead to thermal stratification. So what that means is high air is going to rise, and that we want it to stay to tend towards the top, and cold air will sink inside it stay tends towards the bottom. So not only does air need to be exchanged between the inside and the outside, but circulation is important to eliminate this stratification that could occur, and also to reduce the chance of disease. So rather than have 50 degrees Celsius up here and 40 down here, about 45 kind of mixed throughout. Now this would be too hot for our plants, but this just gives you that idea of having everything homogenized. Now carbon dioxide depletion, because plants consume carbon dioxide, uh, and if air is left stagnant, it can become depleted in this carbon dioxide, which can result in it negatively impacting the growth. Because carbon dioxide, remember the carbon is used for the sugar production, which is used now to help the plant grow. Uh, but also to maintain itself and allow the roots to do the respiration. So we want to make sure we're not depleting our CO2, which if air is stagnant, that can occur. By mixing that air, we're ensuring that there's adequate CO2, hopefully being mixed around the plant, instead of just it being depleted around the leaf surface. Air circulation and exchange is important. Typically, you have air exit out the top points of a structure. So this is kind of a grow tent here. This is uh, an exhaust uh, fan here. So we'd be ex exhausting air out the top of the structure, and intake would be coming in at the lower points. The idea is to remove the hot air and bring in cooler air. Despite air movement, uh, ideally the difference in temperature should be minimal to reduce plant stress. You don't want to be exhausting really hot air and bringing in really cold air because that can make it very difficult to maintain consistent conditions for your plant. The goal is to have about 85, I'm sorry, about 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit for your plants uh, during the day, and you can cool it down to 65 to 70 or so Fahrenheit at night. Now that fresh air intake, you want to again make sure the air is evenly dispersed in the room and the temperature does not cause shock to the plants. You don't want it to be extremely hot or extremely cold, and you do want it to be kind of evenly dispersed. So this can uh, change where you place intake or exhaust valves. Uh, keeping in mind you don't want to go through that high temperature shock, because so it'll be not only a stress potentially to your heating and cooling system, but also the plants you're trying to grow. Air ducting, the goal is to avoid um, harsh angles when you do have ducting. So here we have a carbon filter. Uh, we don't want to have a lot of right angles or 180 degree loops or bends. We want to have efficient airflow. So it's not always possible to run a complete straight line, but you can see here I've maintained kind of as straight of a line as I possibly can. Uh, if you have too many bends in it, that's going to increase air resistance and reduce your efficiency. So this uh, carbon filter is towards the front of the tent here. It's exhausting out the middle, so there's just a gentle bend here as it goes out uh, the ducting. Target group room conditions, we're looking at 75 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit uh, during the day, nighttime 65 to 70, and that 50 to 60 percent humidity or so is what you're generally targeting for your grow room. Now moving air around plants, uh, this is important because it helps keep the plants strong. By kind of having them sway in the breeze a little bit, that can help uh, keep them rigid and stronger instead of getting really leggy. It can also help reduce disease uh, from preventing moisture from building up in certain areas. Minimize thermal stratification, uh, which is great because you will have an even temperature at the top and bottom of your plants. It can allow CO2 to be mixed to help prevent starving plants of the vital um, carbon. Now, mixing of this air can be large fans. If you're in a small operation, this little six-inch fan, if you're in a small grow tent, this may be enough to keep your plants nice and happy.